Hello, everybody! Father Christmas here, or Santa Claus, whatever you want to call me. Maybe there's words you cannot say, but Father Christmas to you, okay? Now this week, we're going to read a special story called The Snowman. What a classic. Are you ready? Are you all settled? Are you ready for Christmas? Have you been good boys and girls? Have you been good mummies and daddies? I hope so. Otherwise, I won't be bringing you any presents. <laughs> Here we go, the snowman. The snow fell all night long. When James woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. He leapt out of bed and rushed to the window. Outside, the world had turned a brilliant, glistening white. Quickly, he took down his clothes and ran downstairs. Don't forget your boots, Mum said. I think I might have some pages to stuck together. Yes, I do. James had never seen so much snow. He played for hours, stumping up and down the garden. Then he started to roll a snowball. And it got bigger. And bigger. Oh! Soon it was so big that it gave James a brilliant idea. He would make a snowman. Carefully, he built the body, then rolled another ball for the head. Look, there's the head. Are you following? James ran inside and found a tangerine for the nose. Two pieces of coal for the eyes, an old green hut and a matching scarf. Last of all, James gave his snowman a great big smile. He was perfect. Time for dinner, Dad called. All evening, James sat by the window so that he could gaze at his wonderful snowman. He would have stayed there all night. But it was soon time for bed. As he brushed his teeth, James took one last look at his snowman. He snuggled down in bed. I hope he's still there in the morning, he thought, and he drifted off to sleep. In the middle of the night, James woke up and he remembered his snowman. He crept downstairs. As he looked out at his snowman, the most magical thing happened. I wonder whether some mince pies turned up. The snowman came to life! Ooh, look! Ooh, ooh. Now that's magic! James shook his snowman's hand. Come in, he said. I'll show you around. In here, whispered James, opening the living room door. The snowman loved the Christmas tree, but thought the fire was too hot. Yes, it would have melted him, and then he would have been gone. <laughs> so James took him to the fridge to cool down. Good idea. Then they explored the rest of the house, and even tiptoed into the mum and dad's room and tried on Dad's clothes. Oh dear, nothing for you this Christmas. Perhaps we'd better go back outside, said James. When they reached the garden, the snowman grabbed James's hand and started to run faster and faster until we were about Oh, honey, we don't know the words. 
They were flying! Oh, splendid! Amazing! They were flying! Oh, magical! Oh, from all around they were joined by flying snowmen. Together they flew over the city, out to sea, and on and on. The snowman led James through the trees toward the clearing. James couldn't believe his eyes. A large circle of snowmen were gathered. And in the middle, there was Father Christmas. He's not real, I'm real. Just in time, smiled Father Christmas. The party is about to start. And what a party it was. James and the snowman danced all night long. As the first rays of sunlight appeared over the hills, Father Christmas handed James a parcel. For me, James grasped. It was a soft blue scarf, beautifully decorated with snowmen. Oh, thank you, cried James. He gave Father Christmas a big hug and then it was time to go. James and the snowman soared into the air and flew towards home. When they arrived, it was nearly morning and time for James to go back to bed. James didn't want to leave his friend, but it knew he knew it was time to say goodbye. With one last look at the snowman, James went inside and upstairs to bed. Happy and exhausted, he fell asleep. In the morning, James' first thought, first thought was about the snowman. He jumped out of bed and raced down the stairs past mum and dad, out the door, and into the garden. But the snowman had gone. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh really, but, but this is a little bit funny, isn't it? <laughs> Look, he's melted, he's melted. <laughs> Oh, poor James. I'd be very sad if my snowman had melted. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you've been good boys and girls and good mums and dads. I really hope so. <coughs> because otherwise, there'll be no presents. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to enjoy my mince pie. My seventh today. Mmm. 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 I love, I love him in spite. Anyway, cheerio. I'll see you next week for another story. Goodbye.